What if you do have Wukong, but you don't have Bologna, and you don't have Vivian, and you never pulled Bernard? Well, fear not, you can run just Wukong. I'm not kidding. He can solo this all by himself. First, let's get the Rift Fragments right for a solo clear with Wukong. So first thing we're going to do is turn him on the healing EE because he's going to be the self healer. Then we want the warrior one for our number eight fragment so that he extends the debuffs. And then we want the warrior fragment down here so that we increase our damage proportional to the number of debuffs because we're running without a defense break, right guys? And then we turn this one on because we don't have a healer so we need the immunity at the start. So this is your combination for a Wukong solo. Now, we do need to do a couple of things to Wukong for a Wukong solo. First... He is not going to survive with this low a health. So do something to make him a little bit healthier, right? Um, even if it's something as simple as giving him a HP main ring. I mean, sure, you crapped all over his damage, but this should be able to tank what we're delivering. And 127 speed, you want him to take some turns, right? So let's change him out to some speed boots. Uh, you know what? Let's use these speed boosts. I'm okay with 98% crit. Sure, he'll miss a crit once in a while, but this is probably going to be good enough. Now, this Wukong will be able to take some shots to the face and is fast enough to take some additional turns. Now, if you, uh, you really want to take it to the next level, you can ditch this artifact right here. And you can either put him on... Uh, Kane's artifact, which will do giga damage as you push deeper and deeper in the fight, or you can put him on Shu's artifact, which will help him cycle. It'll give you additional CR and make him even more crit resistant. So you'll have to decide more damage versus more cycling. I feel bad that Kane's artifact gets so little attention, so I'm going to use this so you can see some really big numbers proc, but either of them will work, guys. Even the artifact I had him on earlier, the, um, Victorious flag, even that artifact will work just fine. So let's try this team out and see how it goes. And by team, I mean just Wukong. So because of the Rift Fragment, we've got immunity at the beginning, so we don't take any debuffs here, and we just have to be able to survive that first hit. But we're fast enough to self-heal, give the barriers, so that hit doesn't even have a chance of killing us. We heal back up, we've got two tentacles down. And at this speed, he is almost fast enough to lap and get two turns in. We should get two hits here. Good, good. And our goal is just chipping away these tentacles so that we can do more and more damage with Kane's artifact. Thirty-seven k damage on that hit. You know what? We're, we've got so few tentacles here. We might have been better off with the uh, victorious flag, but that's okay. There's four tentacles. There's five tentacles. Now we're starting to see a little bit better damage. What have we got now? That's 37k. 44k. Oh, he's going to cleanse most of those tentacles. Well, we still got four. So there's 44k. Still holding out at 44. We got five this time. Should hit harder. 51k. 58k. Sixty-seven K. Seventy-five K. Sixty six K, and we've got a full bar of debuffs here. There's six health bars left, five health bars left. Four health bars left. Three. Ooh, this is gonna be a big hit. Check this out. Ninety three K damage. When those debuffs stack up, Kane's artifact really starts doing big numbers. And there we go, with six rounds left on the counterforce, 
we clear solo Wukong. Now, it wasn't as fast as the other team, but it was a solo clear. But I think we can improve on this, guys. I think solo Wukong, yeah, that's nice. But why do we have all these empty spots? What can we do with those empty spots to make things happen? Well, first things first, let's talk about Wukong. A lot of people have said, I hate that I have to have a Wukong that's on rage and damage to be able to deal with uh, with Rift. You know what? You don't. You can totally run a RTA version of Wukong. So let's go ahead and build that real quick. And here he is. This is my RTA Wukong. He's 191 speed. He's got 84 crit chance, but with the boost from his own artifact, that's 100% crit chance. He's got respectable damage. He's not going to hit anywhere near as hard as before, but he's going to hit plenty of hard, plenty hard enough. And I got enough bulk that I should be able to survive anything Rift throws at me. And I think this build will probably perform well in Arena, Guild Wars, and even in RTA. So. This is just to show you that even a lifesteal Wukong can work. Now, the nice thing about a lifesteal Wukong is we can turn off the self-healing Rift Fragment. So we're going to slip it back over to 30% more damage. But we're going to maintain the Double Warrior one for 8 and 15 and the No Healer Needed one for 31. Now, what else can we do to improve on this team? You're going to love this. You remember Mukacha? Of course you don't. Nobody remembers Mukacha, who wasn't playing in 2018. Back in 2018, Mukacha was one of the fastest units, and he is a speed imprint. So he's going to make our 191 Wukong run even faster at 199 speed. So we put Mukacha on the team, and he gives a speed imprint. And why do we want Mukacha as a speed imprint and not somebody else? Well, you may not remember this. Heck, you may not even know it. But Mukacha has a 100% defense break on his S3. So you put just enough gear on Mukacha to get to 105 effectiveness, and you can even cheat it down a little bit by putting an artifact on him that boosts effectiveness. One of my uh, favorite versions of this would be Cursed Compass. Cursed Compass gives 50% effectiveness, and it's only for his first action, but that's all we need is his first action. So even though we're at 104 effectiveness, even though this is Giga Overkill, that gets me to 105. And that's enough. I could literally put any artifact on him that boosted effectiveness by 1% to max it out. But we could do better than just this team, right? What you can legitimately do is sort by friendship and find some units whose friendship is not maxed out yet, right? Like, uh, I could put Albedo on the team and uh, Ludwig on the team. It may take one or two hits to kill them off, but nobody is healing them. We're not using Wukong's self-healing, right? We're letting Wukong heal himself with lifesteal set. So he no longer needs the self-healing, uh, the, the team healing Rift Fragment. And in fact, you don't want the team healing Rift Fragment if you are trying to power level friendship on units. You want them to die off and not take turns. So either run Wukong on a lifesteal set, or if you're not running Wukong on lifesteal, give him Sigurd Scythe or Golden Rose. Both of those will work just fine, especially at this tankiness. Golden Rose and Sigurd Scythe will work just as well as a lifesteal set and keep him alive and healthy throughout the fight. And that way you don't heal the units you want to die off. AoE hit, hurts everybody, huh, just killed Ludwig right out of the gate. The nice thing about having four people on the team is it reduces that initial chunk of damage too, because remember, the Kraken does additional damage when there's three or fewer people, so you can actually help if your Wukong struggles a little bit for survival by starting out with four units, letting the first hit not hurt Wukong nearly as bad, and then he kills everybody off, but by then you're starting to get these tentacles down. And remember, these tentacles are increased damage for the boss. And as you get rid of them, he hits lighter and lighter. So even though you take injuries, even though your injuries stack up, he'll never catch up to you on damage because you're going to have the tentacles gone and replaced by the sever that boosts your personal damage. So you're gonna hit harder and he's gonna hit lighter the further into the fight you go. And that's why even though Wukong is going to be darn near half health from injury, probably around five or 6,000 health, he still can't be one shot later in the fight. Is without those tentacles, the Kraken hits like a kitten.
Now, if you really, really want to take it to the next level, you can ditch his own personal artifact and put on the damage dealing artifact. You can put Kane's artifact on there. You can put Our Beautiful Seasons on there. All those kind of artifacts work great on him. But uh, even though the artifact I have him on doesn't do any additional damage, it's the artifact I want to run for, for PvP because in Rift, you can miss a crit here and there. But in RTA, you don't want to miss a crit. So I don't like artifact swapping, but if you don't plan to use Wukong in, P in PvP, then do what you need to do to get the job done. There we are, nine turns left, full clear. And look at this, look at this beautiful result here. Friendship bonus for units that aren't max leveled yet. So by the end of this, you shouldn't have a green unit who's not friendship 10. But once you do, once you run out of green units and everybody is friendship 10, start slapping some speed imprints on there. Cause remember, even after death, though artifact effects go away, imprints stick around. So attack imprints and speed imprints are money to help your Wukong perform even better in this fight. Now, once you're done friendship farming and you've just got no green units left to max out the friendship on, if you want to really make this giga efficient, then these last two spots, you run green Sid and green Vildred. And if you don't have Sid or Vildred, you can run um, Mer Mercenary Helga. You could run Righteous Thief Ruzid. Both of those have speed imprints, and that's what we're going for here, guys. Take a look. This is 12, 22, 30. This is 30 extra speed going into my Wukong. Imprints stick around after the units die. So he is going to be 30 speed faster through the entire fight, even after these guys die off. And that makes him cycle so fast. It really, really speeds through this. So I would recommend three speed imprints plus Mukacha for the defense break. Again, you don't need the defense break. It's just going to make it really, really fast. But this tech really lets you stabilize and speed up and make this more efficient. Now, at the start of the fight, make sure you turn Vildred's skills off. And the reason for that is you want to be able to have room to get your defense break on. So you don't want to take so many turns that Mukacha doesn't get his attack off. So there's one hit, two hits, three hits. Guy swipes. We still have room for the defense break. That applies it. And now we're going to take a big hit. That should kill off most people. Well, looks like they all are hanging on by a thread, but that's okay. This gets rid of everybody. Well, except Vildred, but Vildred is on death's door. Wukong extending the defense breaks. Vildred trying to help out where he can, but he finally takes a dirt nap, and now it's just Wukong left. And remember, this is our RTA Wukong. This isn't, isn't built for Rift. This is built for normal, everyday usage. So he's not going to hit nearly as hard, but he's still going to work, guys. We have 18 rounds left to get through 12 rounds of health bar. Sorry, 11 rounds of health bar. Ten rounds of health bar. He is still doing almost a full health bar every swing, and that extra thirty speed is letting him lap so quickly that he takes two turns before the boss can even get an attack off. Look at that! That thirty extra speed is paying off in dividends, and look how fast we're clearing this thing. cleared with eight turns to go. Now, if Mukacha didn't get the defense break, it's still full clears. It's just a little bit slower. But I'm telling you, that 30 extra speed is great. Now, what to do if you need the defense break to full clear? Well, I'll tell you what. If you need the defense break to full clear, maybe you put a second defense breaker on the team. Maybe you run a ram on there as well as Mukacha, and that's two chances to defense break on S3s. You could even run a third chance to defense break on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying seeing that Molagora dancing on the end of Mukacha's spear. I think the 
best thing about Mukacha in Rift right now is watching what I think is a Molagora dancing on Mukacha's spear if you have Ludwig in the right position, that is. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments section. If you think you have better team ideas, put that in the comments section as well. Maybe we'll make a video out of it. But for right now, this is my team. Just Wukong and power friendship leveling units until I run out. And then it's speed and prints all the way. You guys have a great rest of your week. Welcome to RC21. I hope you enjoy it here because, oh my God, you get so much gear from farming this. It's crazy. So enjoy that, and I will catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Holy crap. Does Rift give you a lot of gear or what? In 30 entries, guys. So if you haven't figured out that this is a solid way to get gear yet, I don't know what to tell you.